probably true to say that Musk is in an area that might be considered a gray area, that might be pushing the envelope a bit. The theory would have to go like this, however. Musk has made an offer to people to sign a petition and he wants you to be a registered voter to do it. I've given some reasons why it might be important to him to have them be registered voters. Um, and the argument would then be that, however, that no, he's really trying to sign up new voters. He's really paying you to register. I think that argument has a couple of, of weaknesses to it. One, once again, there are a number of reasons why he might want registered voters on the petition and not unregistered voters. Secondly, the vast majority of Pennsylvanians are already registered to vote, upwards of 80%. Uh, so, and there's nothing that prohibits any of those people from taking advantage of this. I've read the, the petition and the language that goes with the offer and so on. And from all I can tell, if you're registered to vote in Pennsylvania, if you've been registered there for 30 years, you can go get $100 from Elon Musk by signing this petition. So when we think about it that way, it really does look like a petition or, or an offer if you sign the petition. Now he has again, you know, drawn who he wants to sign it. And that may give some people who are not registered an incentive to go register, but that's not what he's paying for. Come on up here, Elon. He created the first major American car company in generations and his rocket company is the only reason we can now send American astronauts into space. Come here. Take over, Elon, yes, take over. Uh, he might want the the list uh, because he might want it for future campaigns. Maybe he wants to run for president in four years. I don't know. It'd be a good, good list to get, right? Um, or similarly, and perhaps more realistically, it's a great list if you now, after uh, the you have the list, you now go out and try to turn these people out to vote. In other words, it's a voter turnout list is what you've got, a group of people who are interested in the First Amendment, interested in the Second Amendment, pay attention to what Elon Musk is saying and doing on social media. And now you've got a great way for Elon Musk to contact them through phone banks or whatever else uh, and, and try to uh, uh, boost turnout in the election. And the fact that you can plan your activity in such a way that you think it will help your political goals doesn't convert it into partisan illegal activity as long as you're willing to register all comers, everybody who comes along. And I think this is kind of similar to that. He's willing to pay any registered voter. Most Pennsylvanians are registered. It's a very inefficient way to register new voters, which suggests that maybe that's not his, his primary intent or maybe not an intent at all. So I think in the end... Although I can see the theory that one would use to uh, argue that this violates the law, I think the better catch is that it does not. I think a prosecutor would look at this and say, I would have a very, very difficult time showing intent. Uh, I may not be able to show it at all. It may not even be there. Uh, one, because we know for a fact we have proof. Well, all of the... Um, Polls obviously are very, very close. So anything, people have said, well, it might help a little at the margin. Well, maybe this year, a little at the margin is all you need. Again, I, th I think if it helps, so the real help probably is going to come in, again in that Musk has gathered or is gathering a large list of registered voters who are interested in gun issues, in free speech, and then listening to Elon Musk. And that's people you can then turn out to vote on election day. And it's and it's perfectly legal to try to turn out you know, registered voters on election day. I'm kind of surprised that Democrats seem to be complaining a lot about this instead of telling all their people, go out and get Trump's or, or Musk money, go, go get Musk money. Um, and uh, you could do that. So again, you know, it, it is something that may at the margin encourage a few people to register who would not otherwise register. They're probably more likely to be people who, if they then follow up and go vote, would vote for Trump. But I don't think any of that converts this into an illegal payment for for registering. In the end, though, this isn't something we've seen before. And if you find some aggressive, ambitious prosecutor thinks he can make a name for himself, I guess we would find out. But but I feel pretty confident that it would be a very tough case to, to win and, and make stick.
Billionaire Elon Musk promised to give away $1 million each day until November's election to someone who signs his online petition pledging support for the First and Second Amendments. The first check went to an attendee at Musk's America PAC event in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania on Saturday, aimed at rallying supporters behind Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump. The winner was a man named John Dreher, according to event staff. The First Amendment protects free speech, and the Second Amendment protects the right to keep and bear arms. The money is the latest example of the Tesla and SpaceX CEO using his extraordinary wealth to influence the tightly contested presidential race between Trump and his Democratic rival, Vice President Kamala Harris. But questions about the legality of Musk's cash payments abounded over the weekend, as election law experts pointed to various provisions in federal law that prohibited making cash payments to voters. It is a federal crime to pay people with the intention of inducing or rewarding them to cast a vote or to get registered, an offense punishable by prison time. Attendees of Saturday's event had to sign the petition, which allows America PAC to garner contact details for more potential voters that it can work to get to the polls for Trump. Musk, ranked by Forbes as the world's richest person, so far has supplied at least $75 million to America PAC, according to federal disclosures, making the group a crucial part of Trump's bid to regain the White House.